What is going on guys, Jack here, and I am back for episode 9 of my West Ham United career mode. If you could be ever so kind, if you are enjoying the series, to make sure you do smash that like button. Uh, it only takes a couple of seconds out of your day and it really does help the channel grow, it really does. And I'd like to say apologies, this video would have been out yesterday, but unfortunately due to technical difficulties, wasn't able to do that, so it will be uploaded today. And I just want to apologise for no video tomorrow. Hopefully it didn't ruin your guys' Tuesday or too much. As we get ready now for a massive game to kick things off, it is a London derby between two fierce rivals, West Ham United versus Tottenham, only separated by two points. As you can see, um, they're both one of the best defensive teams in the league this early stage here. Seven conceded by West Ham, ten by Spurs. The players to watch today, Hugo Lloris, Kyle Walker, Jan Vertonghen, Moussa Dembele, former player Kayute, uh, Son Eriksson and Harry Kane. It's going to be a very good and strong Spurs lineup, and I'm expecting nothing less than an amazing game as we would come forward. It actually would be Tottenham. Eriksson onto the ball here. Great chip over the top. Does find Danny Rose. Heads it back into Son. Son gets away, falls to Rose, cleared away as far as Son gets his shot away, but unfortunately for him, does miss the target. As we come forward now, Danny Ceballos, uh, dangerous crossing and misses both the centre backs Ogbonna and Winston Reid and you feel if anyone got a connection on that that was causing problems as Lamella comes forward now for Tottenham gets cleared away Danny Ceballos clears the fires winner into Harry Kane and the England striker just misses there matched perfectly by Adrian as Lanzini brings us forward now little Argentine does shrug off his man does play it back into the path of Dimitri Payet with the shot and off of Jan Vertonghen there dangerous effort from Payet as the ball does fall to Danny Ceballos Ceballos onto the ball here the Spaniard does really well to get in the position finds Winston Reid turns blocked Finds back to Winston Reid again. Shoots back in the net. West Ham first blood as it does finish 1-0 to the Hammers here. Winston Reid with the finish. Fantastic from uh, the vice captain here. And um, he has scored the White Hart Lane before Winston Reid. And last time he did, we did actually win the game. And Ravel Morrison scored a beautiful solo goal. If you haven't seen it, make sure you do go check it out on YouTube. It was a fantastic effort from Ravel Morrison. And a fantastic day for West Ham fans. If we do go 1-0 up here, Winston Reid's first goal in the league. Congratulations to him. It was a very good finish. A bit of luck his way, but you know we're not going to be complaining about that. As we're going at half-time, 1-0 up. Very good stuff here from the Hammers. And hopefully you can continue that moving forward. And as you can see here, the second half will actually start in top. Tottenham's favour as Son does play on the oncoming uh, Eric Lamella. The Argentine plays a fantastic ball into uh, Son. Son plays it into Eriksson, turns, shoots, just wasn't marked there. If that's on target, that's causing problems. We do bring on Mikel Antonio, Alex Song and the Afra Sacco to try and make a difference in this game. And it would be Sacco into Lanzini, gets past Dembele with ease. Plays it into the oncoming Mikel Antonio is fresh off the bench. Great bit of play from Antonio as he gets away from Kyle Walker and just puts it into the back of the net. West Ham United double their lead courtesy of Mikel Antonio to make it 2-0. Lloris, no chance there with a fantastic effort from the England midfielder. Look at this from Lanzini into the path. Completely just sells uh, Kyle Walker. No chance from there. And that is a really good finish there from Mikel Antonio. And it begs the question, who will we be playing left mid? Do you think Mikel Antonio deserves to be there? Uh, he's raw pace and power, but Danny Sebolos, really good technically on the ball. Antonio equals goals, Sebolos equals assists. So who do you think is a strong candidate? Here's Dembele gets onto the ball. Great run from him as he gets past Winston Reid with ease and just gets his way into the box and finds the back of the net. The Belgian does celebrate that goal to make it 2-1. Very interesting end to this game with 10 minutes left to go here. Tottenham do find themselves back. Um, just a goal behind and it sends White Hart Lane to an absolute frenzy. They're going to be right behind their team here. Unlucky for Adrian. Winston Reid got sold absolutely too easy there as Moussa Dembele does get his fourth goal of the season. Really good start for the Belgian midfielder here but hopefully continue to pressure his lands. he lines up a free kick from range 34 yards out but he is no Dimitri Pai as it does get cleared away. And that'll be how the game finishes here. The final score is West Ham United 2, Tottenham Hotspur 1 and we do get bragging rights over this uh, derby very early on in the season. Congratulations to the team though very pleased with that eight shots to their four possession was pretty much even and uh, it was a really good game overall for West Ham to watch and I'm very pleased with the outcome uh, just a quick reminder guys if you are enjoying the video today make sure to smash that like button I would very much appreciate it. and also subscribe if you are new around and you enjoy what you see Sebolos man of match great to see uh, Byram Oxford Loftus Cheek Seaborn and Sebolos all do some training here Bruce Oxford really impressed me with his progress so far. And Pedro Obiang does pop into the office and does have a little bit of a moan about his game time. He's not happy. He wants to get some more minutes on the pitch. And um, I'm open to doing that as he does get his chance here against FC Michelin in the Europa League. Uh, the team we are going with here is Sacco, Diariceta, Antonio Moses, Obiang, Dahoud, Tompkins, Mazega, Jenkins and Galloway and Randolph. So it's a very good lineup for me and uh, Antonio is bang on form here. As you can see, Michelin are level on points of Athletic Bill Bow. Now, it's a very interesting one with Bill Bow because they have 
not had the greatest of starts to European football. They was actually on zero points after two games. So, you know, they really have bounced back. And I'm not sure if Michelin are our closest rivals now. I do believe it is Athletic Bilbao due to their great side. The Sakao does get played in for a defensive error here. He's surely not going to miss. He isn't. And he does punish FC Michelin for a poor defensive error there. 1-0 to the Hammers, courtesy of Diafra Sacco, and that is very poor defending. The clearance was absolutely terrible there, into the path of number 15, and he makes no mistake to find the back of net and gets Upton Park absolutely rocking within the first minute. Fantastic play from Diafra Sacco, and very good to see. Um, again, both strikers are performing well, but I feel like we're lacking that potent striker up front, and we do actually shortlist some players here as uh, Michelin come forward here, and they do actually find the back of the net. Now, Darren Randolph, very questionable defending there from uh, the Ireland, Ireland goalkeeper there. Um, I believe he should have done better, and uh, it does allow the uh, striker to go through here for FC Michelin and find the back of the net. Mazega should have done better also, but... You know, you don't really make a mistake like that. That's cost us here, and we do find ourselves back on terms just a couple of minutes later. Five minutes into this game, as Latan Lubianic does find the back of the net, as Obiang does play the path into Moses here. Moses crosses into the back post to try and find his man. Does it clear as far as Mahmoud Dahoud, who shoots from range? And what a save that is from Dahin in net. As we try and pile the pressure on, the ball comes in from a corner. Does find Tompkins, who headers way past the post there. Nothing coming from that attack. As the ball comes into Brendan Galloway now, does find the arrow. Setter. The arrow sets on the ball, does play in Diafra Sacco. Sacco turns, shoots, and produces another great save from the goalkeeper. We still remain at 1 1 as we get into the last kick of the half. You would feel is the hood onto the ball here, plays it into the path of Mikel Antonio, shoots, and it does just go over the bar there. Really good effort from the England midfielder who's in great form, might I add. As we go into half time though, 1 1 between the two sides here, and you feel like FC Michelin would be the happier of the two sides. Uh, we've been absolute demolition team so far in Europe this season, but again, I wouldn't, remind, I wouldn't mind a point either. It does mean that we do put pressure on Bill Bell because it's more than likely that we probably will beat him due to their poor form recently. We do bring on Mbani Yang, Dominic Solanke and Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Now that Solanke, he's got a few games now without scoring and I'm getting a little bit worried about the man as Niang comes forward now, links up beautifully with Solanke, tries to get on the end of that cross but unfortunately does actually get stopped in his track and that would be how the game finishes. It finishes 1-1 between the two sides. It was a draw and again, I think that's a fair result when you look at the grand scheme of things. Um... Uh, we need a new striker. It's no denying that. The Afrosaka will probably keep his place uh, as the rotation striker for now. We need to see a lot of improvement from him. And we're not looking at Mauro Riccardi, Alvaro Morata, Romelu Lukaku and Bertrand Torre, along with uh, Milek. And um, we're looking at a winger too. We're looking to bring in Hu Min Song. Let me know what you think about them selections, guys. Do you think they will take Antonio or Sabolos' place? Put in the comment section down below what one you'd be happy to see as we do draw 2-2 two -two at, uh, at Upton Park sorry, against West Brom at Jalbion. Though I did see red, but two guys from Valencia, one from McManaman and Pognatelli would see this game end in the draw. One point shared the piece between the two sides. But, guys, unfortunately, that is going to bring it into today's video. I'm going to leave you looking at the league table. We are sitting in fifth place, 24 points, four points off the top of Newcastle, who are at the peak of the table. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's video, as always, make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you are new around here, why not hit that subscribe button too? You never miss a video from me ever again. And um, thank you for joining me today, guys. As always, I hope you have a really nice day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.